Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to look at the this Jag Tiger by Dragon Armor brand. I have a couple of Fallschirm Jaeger soldiers for scale. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Look at the box first and then uh, look at the, the vehicle. <coughs> this one is the they call it the special version. I believe that's because the gun is in the travel lock. The other one is the travel lock is laying down and it's, the gun is freed. And this one here, they give you specifics. The heavy Panzer Abteilung 653 and Germany 1945. So this particular uh, one is the back. And then they've got more information here. Here it is here. It's got the 323 on there, and it's got the Zimmerman. You know, see, there's the regular one with the travel lock flat against the glacis plate. And as this one's up, and uh, this is Dragon. This one uh, should be an older one. Where's the date on here? Yeah, 2005. This is 2024 when I'm filming this. So this one's 19 years old. Dragon Armor is still around, putting out uh, items. I think they started, was it in four? Somewhere around. This is an early one. They always started with the Yag Tiger, Tiger, King Tiger, and an Elephant. <coughs> and uh, Sturm Tiger. I'll leave that there. And this over here. They've still got it partially attached. They give little toe hooks that you can add to it. Look at here, on the back. And then this is the one with this running gear. And the other one has a, a slightly different running gear. There's, I think, the Porsche and the Henschel. It's interesting, see how there's that little gap there between the, the idler wheel. Very nice uh, matted paint job. And let me pull on a second. Yeah, this one has some metal, but it's also a lot of plastic, too. Some of the early ones had e even more metal. And then in a moment, I'll put some of the men up here to see it in scale. And the front there, imagine being a soldier and seeing this coming towards you. What was the heights of some of this armor? It was like 150 millimeter or 200 millimeter, something uh, quite crazy. Most uh, shells at any ranges, maybe even point blank, blank I don't know, would uh, deflect, especially off the glacis plate. You'd have to tackle this one from the side or the rear. Get these guys. So nice. Uh, here you go. There, so you can see the scale. And this one, a couple of guys here. So let's see how big that is. On a King Tiger, there's uh, some famous pictures from the Ardennes, the Battle of the Bulge, uh, with some uh, Fallschirm Jaeger sitting on a King Tiger on the back. Cool. I just got some more uh, in the box vehicles. I'll leave a link to uh, more uh, Yag Tigers, and in the coming weeks, I'll do some more videos featuring some of the newer ones I got. The vehicles can be old, but a, a new purchase for me. Okay, cool. You know, the height, very tall vehicle. Very effective in a war game. And this can be used for just as display as is. You put it into a diorama that you're going to build, a permanent one, or use what I do and uh, you can use it for war gaming. So 
build models and show those, but I also have a lot of the pre-built uh, vehicles. The biggest brand is Dragon Armor, but there's uh, other v brands too, like Hobby Master and so forth. All right, until next time, another World War II 172 scale video. Thanks for watching, everyone.